Hello and one and all and welcome back to yet another movie review and this time I shall be reviewing a movie that came out 10 years ago, a decade now and that is Prisoners which is directed by Denise Vanilla Nuv and it stars Hugh Jackman, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and Paul Dano And guys, this is a drama film. In regards to drama films, unlike blockbusters, I'm going to not spoil uh, this movie too much. For you. I know this film's like 10 years old now, but I want you guys to um, experience it for yourself. I mean, I watched it on Netflix anyway, so... So with the basic um, plot of... Um, prisoners is that when the police uh, take time to find Keller Dora's daughter and her friend, he decides to go on a search himself. His depression leads him closer to finding the truth and all. So, tribunates him his own life. So, basically, what else? Um, to sum up the movie, is that you have um, two fathers that are part of a family. Jake Jun Hall has a family. And then the other guy, um, Terence Howard, has a family as well. Both of their girls are missing. And they are basically trying to find them. And uh, Detective Loki played by Jake Gyllenhaal, is helping along the way. And Prisoners is so great. Um, I love Prisoners. This is easily my favourite film that Denis Villeneuve has made. I mean, I love some of his other work that he's done, uh, from Enemy to um, Dune. But Prisoners is easily uh, my favourite film that he's made because it, cause I like a good um, crime thriller and it, it's not really necessarily um, a mystery because this film is about um, finding someone, basically. But as a crime thriller drama, it works. Um... Regards to performances that stand out for me, Jake Gyllenhaal is easily my favourite part of the movie who plays Detective Loki. Um, you can really tell um, that he cares in this movie. You know, he's the most active um, character in the whole movie. You know, you can really tell that he wants to help um, both of the fathers. Um you know, Kelly Dover, played by Hugh Jackman, and Franklin, uh, played by Terrence Howard. And then you also have uh, Pan Dano, who doesn't have the biggest role as much as Hugh Jackman and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, but he's pretty good in the movie. And some weird shit goes on with him throughout the movie. But again, I want you guys to experience it for yourself. And then, of course, the uh, really the main character of the movie, um, Hugh Jackman. Like, you can really tell that he his character is all stressed. You know, you know he's completely um, depressed. You know, you know he wants to do this uh, himself, even. Though Detective Loki is willing to help him out. But I think Jake, um, or Hugh Jackman, sorry, um, gives one of his best performance. This is probably his best performance outside of the X-Men as Wolverine. And of course, you got to talk about Roger Deakins, the cinematographer behind this movie. I mean, this man has worked on Shawshank Redemption. Um, the Coen Brothers movies, um, the uh, Sam Mendes films, like with Skyfall and 1917, 
and most of Denis Villeneuve movies, he is easily my favourite uh, cinematographer today because he knows how to make a good looking movie. Like, the way he makes uh, camera work is like lit to perfection. And the look of this movie is just so good. And overall, guys, um, this is just a wee um, short review. Um, I absolutely love Prisoners. Um, you should definitely check this movie out. It is not going to be a movie for everyone, and I will guarantee that, um, because there are some uh, disturbing moments here and there. But this is a brilliant film in every single way, and... Honestly, I don't have a single problem with this movie, and I'm going to give Prisoners an A+. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that's my review on Prisoners. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Prisoners. Let me know below in the comments. Comment down below. Let you know, what movie do you like to watch during Thanksgiving? Since this is Thanksgiving week, technically speaking, for America anyway. Let me know below in the comments. Let's have a great discussion down there. And yes, I did say Thanksgiving week because this film does technically involve family. And hey, Thanksgiving's a family thing. So, you know. So, as always, guys, if you're new to my channel, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and notify that bell before you leave. And as always, until my next video, I shall see you then, and peace.